So for this assignment, we were supposed to do something along the lines of discuss how our country could become more equally friendly and reliant on, that's right, reliant on renewable energy. However, my country that I did research on is Norway. And Norway is already 99, it already gets 99% of its electricity from hydroelectric power. So what I decided to do is I am going to discuss the history of how Norway was able to bring itself to such a feat. And I have a guest speaker who is very knowledgeable in this area. Her name is Toshi and she has a lot to say. So Tushy, if you will stop being mad at me, I think it's time for you to give your speech. Oh, thank you, Verna. So, Norway. It is a frigid northern country in the Western Europe area, right bordering on Sweden and Finland. And it uses the numerous, numerous amounts of rivers and waterfalls to power its hydroelectric plants. In fact, currently Norway has 600 plants. However, it took almost a century to get to this point. The first pioneer was named Sam Ede. Then, in, 19, in 1892, oops, the Prime Minister wrote to the Parliament telling of the industrial potential. Oh, she's getting excited. She gets a little excited. I will continue for her. Telling of the industrial potential that hydroelectric power had for their country. So, in 1909, the the government wrote a, a law, a few laws actually, saying that the water resources that would be used for hydroelectric power could not be bought by foreigners and it would remain in Norwegian hands. And then, by 1911, Norway had the largest hydroelectric power plant in the country. Yes, isn't that right? That is so right. She's getting a little antsy. So while most countries we were brought to their industrial revolution by using coal, the Norwegians were brought to their industrial revolution by using a clean, renewable resource.